What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I wanted to talk about the T-Rex Tape Echo, the Echoplex emulation. Um, they just added it to T-Rex a week ago. Um, 60 bucks in the custom shop, or excuse me, 60 credits in the custom shop. Now a lot of people don't like, I'm hearing that they don't, they don't like the credit scheme. I love the credit scheme because, well I shouldn't call it a scheme because it's not a scheme. It's actually a way to save money because if you have, if you buy credits, you know, say so you buy 80 of them. Well, you buy 80, you buy something for 60, you have 20 left for your next purchase. And then if you have jam points on top of that, I believe you can use the jam points with the credits um, and get it for even less. So I don't see what the complaints about over there, but I've seen them on gear slits, I've seen them on KVR, and I think those complaints are ridiculous. Um, but again, some of the complaints I see online are really ridiculous. <laughs> Anyway, um, this guy, it has a lot going on under the hood. Very creative delay, stereo delay. You have your um, delay volumes here for the left and right channel and how long they actually sustain out. You also have your delay modes. You can either do it in milliseconds or you can do it with note values. And then you have an A, A mode, stereo mode, and B mode. You have your BPM sync, so if you want to sync it to the BPM, or if you're like me, I like to do it to a note value, so a quantized value, you can do that there too. Um, and then of course you can turn the echo on and off, and you have an, and you have an input meter and an output meter. Also, um, then behind the back, just because IK likes to go the extra mile, they give you a few options also under the hood, where you can actually change the... Um, we you actually change the tape wear um, meter, uh, metering. I'm getting closer to my computer so I got to read these. The record level, the um, wow flutter, or even the tape noise. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through some of these um, patch or look through some sounds. I'm just going to process my um, sample tank here. I'm going to process it so you can hear what it sounds like with and without. This is my sample tank paint, sample, no, this is my sample tank patch, excuse me, um, without the echo going on. It's a choir, female choir. Okay, you guys get the point. Um, and now I'm just gonna flip this guy back on. I like doing this again to a note value. I'm gonna turn some noise on here. And you hear the right away, the um, tape noise right there, that hum. That hum that you're in so many classic records, but I'm gonna do it very subtle. Turn on some of that um, wobble, uh, wobble and... And there's the delay right there. I'm going to cut back on the delay volume just a tad bit. And what's cool about this is too, I have one channel, uh, I have them slightly offset from each other. So you actually hear the delays, actually the delay, and it gives you a little bit of ping pong in effect, which is really cool. You can also make a delay, like for example, I want it on channel A. I can make it hold out a little longer. So it's holding that on one side longer than the other, which is like I said, it's cool as hell. You can also do the input level from your instrument. So that way it plays in louder and you get a little bit of a louder delay sometimes. Um, you can bump up your record level on the tape head. See, we'll give it just a slight bit more noise. I just want this to be a really, like a really nasty, dirty recording. This guy just sounds great to my ears. I can't think of enough good things to say about it. And I just like taking it, sometimes just completely destroying audio with it. And you hear I even have this guy sustain that way too long. There we go, that's much better. Um, let's try some different note values. A 16 triplet. I 
like this for stuff, you know, if you want to thicken up the sound, but I really like my delays to hold out. So I'm going to go for a little bit longer. Let's try the um, quarter D. See, and there's just, there's a lot of cool different things you can do here if we go into the different uh, modes. You can hear they sound slightly different. It's not, it's not a huge, huge difference, but there, I've noticed maybe it's a little bit, and maybe it could even be the placebo effect, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I don't use this mode button very, very much. So, overall though, this is a great plugin. It's 60 bucks, sounds fantastic, it's easy to use, has a lot under the hood, and I mean, it's IK Multimedia. They always do a great job on the plugins, I think. I love IK for their effects. I think they do a great, great job with effects. And as you see here, my um, CPU meter here is really CPU friendly as well, which I really like. Keep in mind, machine is single core, and I am using um, running this in machine. So I mean, overall, I just think this is just a great, great um, experience and plugin. And I think if you really want something that you can get really, really creative with and use it on just about anything, you should really check this guy out. And again, it's 60 credits. That's essentially, you can get it for as low as 30 bucks. That's almost a no-brainer if you have the credits or if you even have jam points for it. i jump on it. And the cool thing about the T-Rex shop is, too, the more um, credits you buy, actually, at once, you buy them in bulk, you actually get things for even less. So... Every little bit helps, at least that's how I look at it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this plugin. And of course, rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me the thumbs up and please share with a friend. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Check out KevWestBeats.com.